Morning guys, welcome back to the cave. <coughs> um, I think this is the first video I've done in the new year. Uh, so, I know it's a bit late, but happy new year to you all. Uh, what I'm going to do today, it's a fairly small project. I'm going to do a tea light holder out of a piece of ash. And as is my usual, I'm probably going to be doing some colouring on it. Um, I'll just adjust the, the camera and then we'll get to do some turn. So I've got this piece of ash on here. Um, it's going to end up about four inches diameter by about an inch and a half thick. Uh, I'm going to put it into a, a mortise and obviously shape it and then when I turn it round uh, I'll probably just flatten the top off and do some colouring. So I'm turning at about 1800. Get my mask on. probably get a bit noisy I'm just going to get that sanded down Right, so I sand it down to 240. I'm now going to put some sand and sealer on here. This is cellulose sand and sealer. Give 
another wipe so it's nicely dry. And I'm just going to knock the sand and seal it back with a scotch brite pad. And now I'm going to apply some Yorkshire grit. You might be able to... Where am I? There I am. You can see I've got the, the new product saver. Uh, this has been developed by Steve Twydell of uh, Temple Boy Turnings. And basically what it is, is for people like me, who have a very poor memory, and forget to put the top on. So before the product saver, what would happen is, if you dropped it in the shavings and things like that, the whole top of your Yorkshire grit would get covered. And you'd have a hell of a time trying to clean it off. Whereas now, I'll just give a quick demo. There you go. I'm all covered in shavings. So all you need to do now is actually take the product saver out. You take it out, and give it a clean off. You can give it a good clean off. You can blow all the bits out with a compressor if you've got one. So that's it nicely cleaned up, a wee bit around the outside edge of the pot there. That's all nicely cleaned up. And then you can put it back in and carry on using it. As easy as pie. And there's the Yorkshire grit on, we'll just get that all knocked back. So what you do with the Yorkshire grit, it's like a, a liquid abrasive. It cuts down on the dust. You only need to sand to 240 and then put the Yorkshire grit on. And you just keep on knocking it back until you have no residue left on your paper towel. So that's that done. Nicely finished. So what I'll do now is... Let's get some Hampshire Sheen high gloss. Now Steve is also developing a product saver for this type of tin. That's got the lip on. That you actually take the lid off, not a, a screw one. He's doing one for um, generalised, well, he's got to measure different types of tins up. I sent him the measurements for the Hampshire Sheen one. Uh, so he's going to be bringing these out in the future as well. That's the bottom done. Now again, what I've done on this piece of ash, don't know if you can see, I've drilled a hole in the top. That's a 67mm hole, or a 67mm forcing a bit, and that actually fits straight onto the jaws. Great for platters, great for little things like this where I'm not wanting to really go too deep. I don't really want to use a screw chuck. Face plate ring won't really fit on there, would probably spoil it. So that's ideal. Um, 
The force and a bit I bought on eBay from China and I think it was under six pound. Buy them in the UK from a variety of places. Oh, one guy who I know bought one fairly recently and I think that was close to forty pound for that one so nothing wrong about saving some money. Right, we'll just get that mounted on. And we'll get the top shaped. Now I'm taking this one, or sanding this all the way down to 600. Because I'm not going to be using Yorkshire grit on here because I'm going to be doing some colouring. These are, where am I? Abernet sheets, and I've just got it on a small clip with a magnet. So I can just have it sitting beside us on the lathe. and while I get myself organised. Right, so what I've got in my tail stock is a 40mm force and a bit. I've ordered some brass cups to sit in that the tea light can go into, but they're not arriving until next week. But I mean, I, I'm going to take this to a, a finished piece. I've got that turned at about 400 now.
sun. Some sand and sailor on. Knock it back with a squat break again. Bring up some protection for the lid bed. What I'm going to be using is chestnut ebonizing lacquer and as you I don't know if you can see I've got a nice wee handle that goes on my aerosol and pick these up from Wish which again is a lot of Chinese stuff about two pound a piece Right, that's going to take about 20 minutes before I can come back and add some paint on. So, right, I don't know how well this is showing up on the camera because it's black and the light is not that good. But what I'm going to do, I'm using Joe Sonia iridescent paints and I'm just going to be doing random patterns. That's the gold. Now the thing with Joe Sonia paints is that they all look the same. They're all a creamy colour. So you can never tell what you're getting until it dries. But I've got gold. I've got green. I think that's the gold I've just put on. This is the green I'm putting on. And I'm doing the violet as well. And that's basically the three colours on there. Now again, I'm going to have to wait until that dries. And once that's dried, we'll come back and I'll put some lacquer on there.
Right then guys, it's been painted, that's dried, I've put a coat of uh, lacquer on there, and that's dried, uh, so this is the, the finished piece, can't really see the colours that well, but what I'll do, I'll take it in the house, take some photographs, and pop, pop them up. On the at the end of the video now what I've also done this morning as well and I've just made a small vase again with and I've used the Joe Sonia iridescent paints to do a, a string pull um, string pull feathers sorry about the light again I'll stick some photographs up of that one as well thanks for watching and um, please like please share it's always nice to get the subscriptions up and um, I'll probably be back uh, doing another video next weekend um, I've got a couple of things to deliver to a shop on Friday I'm actually looking after the shop on Friday up in uh, Mulgai just outside Glasgow and uh, Mugdug Park um, so I'll be up there on Friday, so I'll probably be back in the cave next Saturday. Um, so I'll see you then.